Hi there and welcome to this how to avoid a shock horror Nikon thing happening to you It's to do with that little bush and it ripping out and this is what I bought You can slow it down to see more details of it Bought it on uh, Amazon, cost me less than a tenner and that was delivered You can't complain at that And the inside opening of it is 64.5 and my camera is 60, so that's centimetres. So I had to pack it a little bit and I first of all used a sticky back rubber, both ends, and it was too thick. So I switched it to Velcro, which you'll see in the video, and I used the non-jaggy part, the smooth furry bit. And it gripped beautifully and I have no problem with it now. And that's what I'm pointing to is the faulty bit. There's four screws there and it does nothing except the whole metal bit in, but not to the chassis. And this is what can happen. Bang. Follow this and don't let it happen to you. Good luck. Hi there. Welcome to another video. It's only a short one. It's about my Nikon or Nikon, depending on the country you're from. B700. I noticed it had a weakness down there. And I saw several videos on YouTube where it had broken off there. So I unscrewed it to have a look and it right enough. <laughs> There's very little support in your camera. Away over there, off center, there. If you hit the barrel, it'll snap off, even if it's on your tripod, if you give it a good knock, not really good. Yet you may notice all the names are blanked off. I don't advertise the cameras I'm using. You can see on there it's blanked and detail on there blanked and detail on the back blanked. And even up there, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I, I pay enough for these cameras. I'm not advertising them for the company as well. So this is the video to do with that and also I'm doing a separate video with this uh, attachment here for taking larger or better fitting items and its name is <laughs> KW11 <laughs> but it takes a larger filter and there's no vignetting or anything like that and it screws on nice and tight and I got the lens cap with it as well because it's a couple of sizes bigger so on with the video now I bought this JJC tripod mount ring it's a TR something F111 and it's a 60 I think 64 6.4 centimeter opening and the lens is six so when you put it on it was just slightly too big and didn't do what I wanted it to do but you can see it's got a tripod mount on the bottom it's very firm and it holds your camera there dead center on your lens which has to be a better idea than under there where it breaks off it hasn't broken any lenses off nor would it unless you hit it with a hammer and I then bought some Velcro, sticky on Velcro. I only wanted the soft bit, not the jaggy bit. And you can see what's left. I cut a little bit thinner strip than the full strip. And I stuck it in there. One full bit there and there and a piece there and there just to tighten things up and now I can oh by the way I meant to tell you it's marked centre so there's no guesswork <laughs> it fits on thus line it up centre and screw it up and then screw it onto your plate or your tripod direct. I have one that takes a separate plate. So. And 
and that's it. Nice and tight and it holds your lens perfectly. Can't complain at all. And you can still wiggle it if you want to move it. But with that dead center there, I don't worry. It's spot on for me. And also, if you want to shift over, my tripod doesn't go into portrait mode. But look, <laughs> it goes into portrait mode as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm very impressed with it. Total cost, including postage, was about £10. $12.5. You'll get them cheaper in America because we get ripped off in the UK. Trust me, we do. <laughs> and all you need is a big pair of scissors. And that's your lot for that. Tara the new Jimmy.